Hey guys, Hackersploit here, back again with another video and in this video, I'm going to, video, I'm going to be showing you how to install and configure Metasploit a community or the pro version, depending on which one you want to get installed. And uh, you might be asking yourself, well, what exactly is Metasploit? I thought we already knew what Metasploit is. Well, that's true, but what you're looking at or what you use on Kali Linux or on Parrot OS is the Metasploit console, all right? So that uh, is essentially Metasploit for the command line. Now, what I'm talking about is the Metasploit framework that is a GUI framework that will discover, that will allow you to discover open ports on a network and then it will find out uh, the installed services on the target or the server or website that you're trying to scan uh, on all right so again you might be asking yourself well what's the what's different what's the advantage why do i need to use this well uh, the main or the best part is that it maps the services uh, that will be installed on those ports uh, to the metasploit modules or exploits and will allow you to execute the uh, exploits on the the port that you choose so to, to put it really, really simply, it will allow you to scan your network, okay? So once you've scanned your network, what will happen is it will show you, you the ports and the services running on these ports. So let's say you had a port running an FTP, uh, so you had uh, your FTP port and it was running a specific service. What it will do is it will get all the exploits that are compatible with the service that is installed on that port and then will show you the exploits uh, that you can use uh, uh, to, you know, perform your attacks. Um, and it's very, very similar to what you'd find on the Metasploit console. But in this case, it will show you the best options. All right. So it's really, really awesome. And it's more of a professional uh, based tool. All right. So what you want to do is it's completely free. Uh, the, the community version is completely free. Uh, there is the pro version, but that's if you're really into uh, in, into this uh, in on a more professional level. I have used the pro professional version and if you're moving into network penetration testing, it is a really, really good option. All right, so let's get started. It's really, really very simple. All right, so I'm just going to be putting the, the links in the description to make it easier for you. You want to go to rapid7.com. Uh, again, they developed um, Metasploit. So this is their product. Products, Metasploit, download and community. All right, so uh, as you can see, Metasploit community download. And it'll give you a free one year trial. So it'll actually give you a serial key for you to use and to test. Uh, so essentially Metasploit community is our, our limited feature penetration testing tool that gives you power of the Metasploit framework with an added graphics, uh, user, graphical user interface for easier navigation and exploitation, right? So it's designed for students and small businesses who would like to safely sim simulate network attacks with basic exploitation and network discovery. All right, so what you need to do is you just need to enter your details here, your name, your email. It's very important that you enter your valid email, a working email where they'll, they'll send you your serial key. So once that's done, it's going to take you to this page. And uh, as you can see, it's go time and it's going to show you the downloads. So it does work on Windows because it's a web based uh, graphical user interface. So you have your Windows and uh, you have your Linux. Uh, in my case, I'm running Linux 64 bit. So uh, just click on it and it'll download the file for you. All right. So once uh, you've downloaded the file, what you want to do is you want to go into the installer. This is how it will look. It's going to be a very, very simple installer. And what you want to do is obviously, if you look at the permissions, you will not be able to run it immediately. So just change the permissions with chmod uh, plus x, whoops, plus x. And uh, you want to just select the Metasploit framework. There we are, the installer. So make sure you change the permissions to allow execution. And once that's done, just run it. And it's a very, very simple installation. It'll probably take a few minutes to get installed. The installation process is really sim, uh, very, very simple. So I really don't need to take you through it and it'll take quite a bit of time. So just give it enough time to install. In addition to that, uh, th I've already installed it. So we don't need to go through the installation process. So once it's installed, um, it'll probably uh, prompt you to open the the user interface and as i said it does open in the browser if it doesn't open for whatever reason uh, it's really really very simple to start and the first thing i want to tell you is you need to start the service if you install it as a service all right so service metasploit uh oops metasploit start all right and once you hit that it should be good to go and it's going to ask you for your administrator password all right so let me just enter that right now there we are 
and it's going to start the service and what you want to do now is just open up your browser uh, I opened it on Mozilla Firefox and you want to go to the following link all right so I'll do it again for you you want to go to localhost localhost like so and uh, localhost with the port 3790 all right that's the port you want to visit there we are and uh, again it's going to prompt you to create an account uh, and uh, by this time they should have sent you a serial key once you've created your account this is going to be your user account you can just sign in all right and once you've signed in uh, this is the Metasploit community framework and as you can see it's really really well designed and uh, let me just breeze you through the user interface so you have a good idea of uh, what's going on here all right so starting at the top you have your project section where you can create different projects based on different uh, IP addresses or targets uh, that you want to scan or perform attacks on so very very good it allows you to sort all your stuff out you then have your account settings where you can you know change your settings or log out you can then check out your administration tab here that allows you to check for software updates to check your software license and the global settings all right so that's just to do with personalization and customization uh, you then have your news panel as you can see here that uh, is based on the uh, rapid 7 website so this is the latest news that they have here let me just zoom back in and you can choose to hide the news panel nothing really important there now let's get to the main which is uh, the projects all right so you have your project listing and it'll give you a default one so what i'm going to do is i'm just going to delete that right and uh, after i delete it what we're going to do is we're going to create a new project right so it's really really very simple we're going to go into here a uh, new project like so and it's going to ask you for a project name so i can just call it a uh, test like so uh, test and uh, they just call it um, test home network all right so this is going to be performed on our home network uh, so yeah it's already given us a network range and yes i do want to follow that range so 192 this is my local uh, ip or my private ip address so i'm just going to create the project and um, there we are so it's really really very simple to understand what's going on here now so you have your discovery this is where, where it's going to be all about what ports were discovered what services and vulnerabilities were discovered in penetration and the penetration section this is where you're going to be doing your brute force and you're exploiting all right we'll be looking at this in the, in the future videos regarding this topic uh, but to start off uh, we can just try and perform a scan all right and when i hit scan you're going to enter your uh, target addresses or your target range so i'm just going to launch the scan all right and it'll take a few seconds uh, that's something that i needed to tell you and uh, what it's going to do is obviously it's going to perform an nmap scan on the network range that you've provided obviously and uh, it's going to start scanning the hosts i probably should have reduced the range of networks uh, obviously it's going to take a bit of time it usually does take quite a bit of time uh, a bit slower than nmap but it does work all right so once you've scanned it'll then give you the vulnerabilities that you can access all right so i'm just going to stop this because uh, again it's not very important for us right now let me just stop that uh, for some reason yeah, there we are all right it's stopped Let's look at tasks again all right and uh, test let's move to the test project again and uh, moving on to the exploit section if i hit exploit it will show us um there we are so get a free upgrade to try smart exploitation again that's if you want to move to your uh, metasploit pro but i'll be showing you how to perform the exploits directly without uh, using the metasploit pro all right you then can collect evidence and this is more to do with the web uh, and cookies uh, stuff like that you then have your analysis section this is where you can look at the you know different uh, information that was captured you have your sessions uh, campaigns web apps modules uh, so web apps is to deal with if you uh, performed a scan on a web server and it had web apps that you would like to scan and exploit that's what it will deal with but that's a basic overview of how to use metasploit uh, and more specifically metasploit community so it's a very very powerful tool as i said it's oriented uh, more on the professional or enterprise level uh, depending on what uh, stage you are in your penetration testing career uh, granted that this is a very very important thing to learn so i hope you guys found value in this video if you did please leave a like down below if you have any questions or suggestions leave them in the comment section or you can hit me up on my social networks or on kick for the latest hacking news and resources check out my website you can also ask me questions there the link is hsploit.com and yeah thank you so much for watching this video guys peace